Oh, wow. Wow. By now, everyone's seen that moment from the 2022 Oscars. That was a uh, greatest night in the history of television. Will Smith slapping Chris Rock across the face after the comedian made this joke about the King Richard star's wife, Jada Pinkett Smith. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Now a source tells E.T. how Chris is coping, revealing it's been an emotional week as Chris returns to work on his comedy tour. <laughs> E.T. source explains that while the Saturday Night Live alum is used to fame, he's never experienced it like this before, adding that there was a mob of photographers chasing him from his hotel to the theater in Boston where he performed on Wednesday night. Quote, there were even choppers following him. Chris performed two shows to sold out crowds, speaking out for the first time about the surprise SmackDown. This is a once in a lifetime experience, YOLO. I've always thought he was hilarious. I didn't even know he was going to be in Boston until I Googled the incident and got some ads for it. And then I'm dying to know what he has to say about what happened with Will Smith. Chris got emotional after he was greeted with not one, but two standing ovations from his audience. stars like them, they seem like they're on another level, and sometimes we feel a little detached from them. Good seeing that human, you know, reaction, and feeling that love from Boston, and it's like, look, we love you, and we appreciated you being here, and we're with you, and he felt it, and it felt great. And while Chris didn't go into all the juicy details about the Oscar incident, E.T. Soar says Chris has beefed up his security and is really taking this time to wrap his head around everything that happened. Uh oh, Richard! <laughs> and while the star continues to process it all, one thing's for sure, he still knows how to bring the funny. It's funny. Yeah, That's the part yeah. of honest comedian, you need to be funny. It was, it was funny, down. my eyes were crying. I was loving it. Everything he talked about was hilarious. He did a set. It was enjoyable. I'd say it totally lived up to it. I mean, he's just the kind of guy that his aura and, um, you know, whether he's got, you know, even if he didn't have jokes planned, which obviously he did, just his energy and being there is so something I really wanted to see. So that's why I got tickets and I'm so glad I came.